Oh, I just did that thing again. What thing? We Where I sat here and listened to the music and assumed you guys could hear it. <laughs> Why is he not introducing the show? <laughs> the, hey, you guys were quiet for an God, abnormally this, long time. This guy is not doing his job. What's going on? <laughs> Ted, the music is playing. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to That Checks Out with Damon and Ted. I'm Ted. That makes him Damon. Damon, before you get into your week, we have a sponsor this week. Yes, we do. Who's the sponsor? It is Be Natural by Cat. All natural lotions and lip balms made by hand with love. Hmm. I would like everyone to know that 10% of the proceeds goes towards bee conservation, which is important. You can find Be Natural by Cat at www.benaturalbycat.com. That seems to work pretty easily, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right in the title. Yeah. I like that. I like that. We'd like to thank you for your sponsorship. Get all your natural lotions, bars, and lip balms made by hand. Benaturalbycat.com. Hey. Hey, I, I like a sponsor. I, you know what I else bet I you like? do. I like when Max shares the music with us yeah, before we yeah. start, too. Yeah, a little uh, behind the scenes there, folks. We might even put it in there if you recorded it. <laughs> oh, I yeah. did that again. <laughs> we're, now we're not recording. Yeah. We heard the music, but yeah. we're not recording now. I, I, I did that again where I played the music and assumed you guys could hear it. <laughs> yeah. We're sitting there, you know, talking about monkey buttholes or whatever. And Max's yeah, like, why are they starting the show? Maybe next time you could hum us a few bars, Max, or yeah. something so we know what's going on. <laughs> You know what I mean? God, do they not recognize their own theme tune? Yeah. Why are they not? Why are they so quiet? They've been talking the whole morning. I wish they'd shut up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You know what's funny is is that's how our week goes. <laughs> right. Yeah. That sums up everything in like in like a day. Yeah, that's quite the microcosm <laughs> of, of that checks out right oh, there. You guys, you guys weren't with me? Weird. <laughs> Yeah, he's just over there jamming out. <laughs> so, thanks, uh, Healy's house. Great, great yeah. job recording. <laughs> yeah. He's over there. He, he's bogarting the music. He right. won't even let us listen to it. Um, the invisible music you play is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. you, you, I saw the bars moving Ted, on the screen. You can't see music anyway. Shut up. It works out. <laughs> People do what I meant. Yeah. I hear it. I hear it, too. That's how I take in noises. <laughs> I can see notes, man. <laughs> um. So we talked about a sponsor, which is awesome. Yeah. All right. And hey, this is like a this will come out on Valentine's Day. So this is a Valentine's Day show. Hey, if you forgot to buy something, go to the website and buy something. It'll be different. It's different from anything that you you'll see in the store. So it's it's a good deal. And don't forget, ten percent goes to bee conservation. Well, you conserve bees. What you just uh, if we you... lo- if we lose the bees, it's kind of important for the planet. So it, I know that so, that is true. Right. Okay. I, I believe that just goes to saving the bees. Okay. Save the bees. Save the trees. Yeah. Save the whales. Save those snails. <laughs> save the snails? Do we really have to save the snails? George Carlin. That's part of his bit. <laughs> Look it up. Um, so, hey, a couple things this week. Uh, you know, we got like, I don't know, a mountain of snow came I, from the sky. Yeah, I do. Because okay. I, I moved it with a shovel. Right. So, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> as I'm out doing snow removal round one, because it, it, I did two or three rounds yeah, you in were one day. In, yeah, they, they had a little, uh, for those of people not in Illinois, it was kind of a band of worse... It was weird. Like, in the middle of the state, it was worse. And then as it rotated out, like, south and north, they tapered off. So even though we don't live that far apart, yeah. you probably got twice as much as I did. I, I had probably about 14 inches of snow. So that's, over... That, that's a few G.I. Joe guys. Yeah. Yeah. couple. A couple. <laughs> couple, like two, two, three. Like two. Two, like three two. of them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, if I got a seven-inch yeah. G.I. Joe guy, so, I'm doing okay. So anyway, uh, I'm out doing the first round of snow removal because I have a snowblower. Okay. Well, I did it twice too because I had to shovel to get the car out. Yeah. Because I hate like like once you drive over it, you might as well just leave it down. Oh, it's done. Yeah. 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 So Concussion I just sho- round two. Right. So I had to shovel <laughs> to get the car out. You know, go do my my business all day, and then come back and have to reshovel to get the car back in. Right. Right. Because it was snowing that whole day. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm outside and and there's they haven't touched the streets, so there's probably oh, oh, oh there's, they did not there when I'm outside there's six to eight inches of snow. Okay, for the first round, and so I. I'm cutting through it with the stuff and I'm clearing and you know, you still have to do some shoveling and you have to, but, but I was like, okay. And I didn't even scrape my vehicle because I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. And it's still snowing in the 45 minutes to an hour and a half. I was outside doing yep. stuff. Um, when the first part I did had an inch and a half of snow on it, you know, it was, it was coming down so fast. Yep. So up the street comes a vehicle. First vehicle I've seen in like an hour. Was it coming sideways? It was not sideways, but it was a two-wheel drive Ford Ranger. <laughs> they, they slow down, and I'm like, okay. So they want to ask me a question. Of course you do, because I have a I have a piece of machinery running, and I don't want to talk to anybody. Right. So of course we need to have a discussion. 
And he <laughs> <proceeds>. <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> he proceeds to ask me about where an address is. I said, well, I'm, he wanted to know the 2,500 number, and I'm a, I'm a 2,400 number, or 24,000. And I says, I believe it's back this way. So I watch him try to do this, like, 18-point turnaround in Boston a two-wheel drive, and he's going back the other way. Right then was when my wife walked out to let the dog out, and and she goes, you know you sent him the wrong way, right? I'm like, you shouldn't ask me for directions. I was busy, <laughs> right? <laughs> so now he's trudging the wrong way through the snow. Yeah, what am I, Alexa? Like, I don't... <laughs> Yeah. What am I, Siri? Like, I don't know. If the... you listen to my podcast, hey, Google would have popped up at some time. I know where my house is. Yeah. It's right next to the gas station. It's right here. Right. <laughs> Look, you want to know my zip code? Because I know it. I'm ready all the time, you know? But uh, <laughs> but no, so she's like, you sent him the wrong way. I'm like, well, that's his problem. So hey, he'll yeah. find that out. Yeah. yeah. Here's the nice thing. To be fair, to, it he makes a it... circle. Yeah. So, so to be honest with you, no matter which way I send you, yeah. you'll eventually get there. Yeah. Okay? So I'm not... Yeah, did I send him the wrong way? No. <laughs> did I send him the long way? Yes. 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 Did I make sure he gets to drive around this whole subdivision? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm proud of it. <laughs> you know? So <laughs> we have a Ford 500, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody likes a bragger, Dad. <laughs> yeah, well, definitely does not apply here. Way to upgrade from the 499. I, yeah. But go ahead. Right. <laughs> yeah. When Ford was like, you know what? You know that best-selling Taurus that everyone knows about? Let's rename it a number that no one cares right. about. <laughs> so I pulled the, like, I don't know, pulled the um, windshield wipers up. Yeah. So it didn't get stuck. But this is gotcha. before this snow. It's been sitting for a while because no one's been going anywhere. And I was like, you know, that car never started for me when I was at work and needed to get home. I, I, but I need to move. I better get it started just to make sure. Now that no one needs to go anywhere, that sucker <laughs> fired right up like it was like, I'm like oh, all right, I see how we're doing Ford five hundred. So when you listen to marketplace, you're gonna be like, doesn't work well yeah, under pressure. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't work well twenty five miles from home. Yeah. Well, fire up your driveway whenever you want. You think it's a solid work car? Work car? No, no. If you a driveway car, yeah, this is a very solid driveway. You car. wanted to, you wanted to piss you off six, <laughs> six feet at a time. Yeah. It'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it to a job. Okay, I would leave it right but in the it driveway. It's funny because we put it in the garage and then the garage door broke, so it was in there for like three years, not moving. Yeah, just did not move, and we had to get a new garage door. And the guy was like, "Well, we need that car out of there to fix the door." And I'm like, "No, I don't, I don't think you understand. I need, I need the hole to the garage fixed. I don't <laughs> yeah. need the inside yeah. fixed." Yeah, and he's like, "Well, I gotta get it out." And I'm like, "Okay, great. Air up the tires, put a battery charger on it, fires up immediately." <laughs> <laughs> Like, needed, are you kidding me? Rest. We put you in here because you wouldn't start. <laughs> it was hibernating. Yeah, he's too tired. He was yeah, just tired. You're right, Mac. <laughs> oh, uh, it stretches. Well, I guess you're going to fix my door. I'll get out. I don't know. Yeah. You put the door. It's like, it's snowing out there. I'm not going out there. Yeah. <laughs> so the other, the other thing that happened this week is I went, I put, uh, I put gas in my wife's van. Okay. Now, oh, did you, you, did you fuel up her car or did you eat some beans and be yeah, like, right. she's going to love that. <laughs> So I fueled and gassed up my wife's car this week. <laughs> and an unrelated note, I also fueled her vehicle. But uh, but no, I, I go to the gas station, and the, the thing's on the same side, so I'm cool. But, like, my gas uh, my gas cap doesn't have a, a strap on it. You know what I mean? To hold it to the vehicle. Oh. So when you take it off, I it, set it right on the roof by the luggage rack. Neither That's does the Ford 500. Right. And I forgot about that the last time. <laughs> oh, see, now I always look for it. So Well, I, no, I... I, I, I pulled it off and went to hang it like yeah. I, I usually do and yeah. it doesn't hang anymore so it just rolled under the car <laughs> <laughs> so so what's funny is i get done pumping and for the life of me i look like i'm i'm like i'm looking around going whoa everybody's probably watching me like what is this guy doing there's a gas cap hanging from the strap right there on the side of the vehicle i'm looking on the roof i'm banging around <laughs> i'm looking on the ground i'm looking all over the place i see him like where the hell did i put that gas cap i reach in both pockets because it's cold you know i'm like did i put it in a pocket and i'm like and all of a sudden i look and it's hanging right there i'm like oh and you do one of those slight glances around like how many people watch me do this you know <laughs> you know it's right here and of course i'm at the same gas station you know it's like it's right, right. here you know uh but no it was just it was just kind of ironic because i go through the same steps every time you know yeah. and this time i didn't have to so how was your week anything crazy i know you traveled yeah, I traveled, but then I shot back here because I didn't want to be stuck on the wrong side of the storm. So I did four days of travel and two. Really? Yeah, yeah, it was not not advisable. It's not fun. And you still got the shovel. So yeah, you got and the, I still got the shovel. So yeah. you, got the, you got the raw end of both sticks there. Yeah. That was bad. Yeah. Mac. Huh? 
other than you playing your own music to yourself this morning, yeah. how was your week? It's all right. You know, shoveled. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for being ready, Mac. Yeah, Appreciate for, it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you haven't noticed by yet, we, we, we include him because he adds so much to this podcast right. that uh, we, we couldn't see doing it without him. So we just couldn't see doing it without him. <laughs> Well, I think it's in our contract. We have to go to him every so often <laughs> just to make sure he's awake. <laughs> we, we got a little, we got like a shock collar. Yeah. He can buzz. Like, hey. And, uh, we my, got a writer. No black, no uh, brown M&Ms. Yeah. And Mac has to yeah, talk. And Mac has to talk. Uh, quarterly on each recording. <laughs> <laughs> quarterly. So, so I thought I'd kind of do, if, if you don't have nothing else for the week, just travel and sh- shoveling. We were snowed in, sir. Yeah, we, I guess so. You're right. No, I mean, last night I did go to uh, Crystal Lake to see um, like a friend who has been on a comedy for a couple of years because of illness. Yeah. Hit, hit the stage again. And it was fantastic. That was a good time. But other than that, yeah, no, it was because of the weather and really not much happening. Right. I'm sticking around the house. Yeah. So in that same vein, that's how I've been with, I've watched a lot of TV. Because when I'm not shoveling and I'm warming up, I'm, I'm watching shows. Okay. Uh, I want to tell you what, I'm going to stick with a little um, Valentine's Day theme, if we will. All right. So I watch I watch shows as a couple. All right. Because Nicole was snowed in with me, too, yep. on Wednesday. She wasn't going nowhere, you know. I wish I could say the same. Mm-hmm. I went somewhere on Wednesday, and it was the worst. Did you really? Yeah. I went to go to Oregon Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people did. And you might have had to wait, or you had to wait while you shoveled out until they get you out of the street. Well, that was you know? the thing. Uh, Tina had a meeting, and um, I'm... I don't know how much she wants you to say on air about what, where she does and what she does, but she had a meeting and I was like, she's, I was like, I have to go to work. She's like, okay. I'm like, you, so you're going to drive? Yeah. Like, I don't think you understand. Like I'm taking the good car. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to work, you're taking the Ford 500. Right. It'll start here. It starts. I can't tell you if it's going to start when you get back in it. Yeah. If you could park in somebody's driveway, that'd yeah. be great. So <laughs> I drove, dropped her off, went to work, then took a long lunch, picked her up, brought, right. brought back. As I get in, she's like, Hey, I got a meeting. Um, I, so she's taking a meeting while I'm driving. So I'm chauffeuring and like, I'm white knuckling and she's just like, Oh no, is that your dog in the background? That's fantastic. Meanwhile, I'm like, Oh my God, we're going to yeah, die. You're, you're in two different trips. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> two different. And then she's like, Oh no, 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 no. My husband's driving. I wouldn't be on the roads. Like this, the roads are crazy. This is the worst time to be driving. Meanwhile, I'm like, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Try not to think about that. <laughs> You're like, you're like the guy that said. Then she's doing it. She's like turning the camera on showing. Like, look how bad it is out here. You can't even see the roads. Nothing's plowed. It is just one solid sheet of ice with six inches of snow on top of it. It's crazy. Only weirdos are out here right now. And I'm like, <laughs> we're one of them. Why I'm your, that weirdo. Why is your husband? Why is he so tall in that seat? Well, he's sitting on a pile of crap. He has crapped his pants <laughs> twenty times. <laughs> you know, lots of stew. Lots of stew in this vehicle. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get it. Yeah. it. It's weird how how it's like, but you know what's neat oh. though? That shows so much faith in your driving that y- y- you do have to respect that yeah. at least to where it's like, oh, I don't have any fears. It, it was you know? funny when I picked up the rental car. Uh, they always like, so where are you headed? I, I, they tried to do it like conversationally, but they really went in like, where are you taking my car? What's going on? Right. So where are you headed? I'm like, Iowa. And she's like, oh, um, like, yeah, it wasn't exciting. That's not what you expected, right? She's like, well, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, yeah, one time I'd like it to be beach, but it's not. Right. Like, <laughs> how far do you think I'm taking your car? I was going to say. In a minute and a half. I want the flood insurance because I'm going to Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. What do you, wh- where do they think you're going? Yeah. You know? <laughs> you should have said, I'm going to uh, going to the beaches of I'm, Iowa. I'm, I'm not Damon. Yeah. <laughs> if I was going further than driving distance, I would have flown. Yeah, they're like, we love that guy. We always get rentals out of him. That's yeah. great. Um, yeah, well, I did like ask when I was like, hey, she's like, when do you want to leave for like for a meeting night to drive? She's like, well, I'm like, well, I need to know how many pairs of pants I need to bring because you bring it up, like, right? Because I'm probably gonna crap at least two of them. Right, <laughs> exactly. This, this is a two crap driving day. Yeah, and yeah. not for me because it's like the people, and I've seen all these memes everywhere over social media. Like, you always, all you people asking how the roads are when you guys can't even drive when it's 75 and dry. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And you're out there with it's negative six and it's snowing. Oh, such yeah. idiots. Yeah. And and just so you know, like the speed limit signs not posted at that point in time is like a challenge. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, well, it says I can do 65. No, 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 no. The sign says that's that's, that's acceptable. That's, that's how fast you can go before we punish you. Right? That's what yeah. that means. It yes. doesn't mean you have to go that fast. Right, right. Well, the, the sign over there says minimum 40. That's for truckers. Again, when you're <laughs> in, right. in ideal conditions. So, but no, that, 
because eventually you have to stop. I've watched it too many times. You, people fly by and then they're in the ditch. And you're yeah. like, you know, party wants to do the old Nelson. Ha ha. You know, and the other party's like, I hope they're okay. You right. know, but, but uh, no, when you're white knuckling like that. Oh. Oh, and then when I went to com- come back and pick her up, there's like stop signs everywhere in this place. Like, you know, four way stops in all the parking lot. The plows are just pushing right through them. Like not even. Yeah. And he didn't have his, if he had his like blade down. Sure. I get it. <laughs> Blade is up. He's not even moving snow. He's just cruising. He's just cruising on through. And I'm like, cool. I had no indication you weren't stopping, bro. Yeah. Guess who was not stopping? Me, because there's no stopping power out here. I saw your orange flashing light, but I thought you had police yeah. flares. I wasn't I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. So so you did you spent some time then maybe watching some shows then? Chilling? If yeah. you were inside, yeah. other than going to see comedy. Yeah. I've I've been watching uh, Peacemaker on HBO Max. Have you watched that? That show's bonkers. Really? Bonkers. Yeah, see, so I've been watching, oh, what is it? In My Own World. <clears throat> I've no, that sounds like a show on, you'd watch, like, you'd leave the room after Price is Right when you were sick. Yeah. No, it, it's it's In My Own World, and the first episode, because I watch this with Nicole, so we, we try to find something where it's like, these people are so, they're just, they're batshit crazy, okay? The first one is uh, Zombie Prepper Mike. Uh, he lives with his mom, okay? You didn't need to. No, Mike is. Who just said zombie prepper? Mike, I know where Mike lives. Mike is probably mid forties. Yeah. Okay. Um, so far, this all checks out. Okay. Uh, his mom thinks he's mental. Is is his bunker mom's basement? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mom. Come on down to the stronghold. <laughs> yeah. It's downstairs. He has like four. Mom, pounds. meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Told you I was having a meeting today. <laughs> Why don't we have any Cheez Its? <laughs> All right, I'm going to interrupt you. Mike, to catch up, everybody, Mike is 40 years old. He's a zombie prepper. He lives with his mom. Let's go. <laughs> Potentially in the basement. So, um, yeah, she thinks he's mental. But then he, at one point in time, he says in there. <laughs> Just it up. Yeah. At one point in time, he says in there, he goes, he goes, well, you know, I work for the government. Okay, first off, you're not you're not patting yourself on the right. back here real well. You know what yeah. I mean? You, you the, probably, there's certain things you should leave out if you're on a show like this. Does he volunteer part-time at the library? <laughs> right. <laughs> I work for the gum, man. Bookman. Agent Bookman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, but he takes his kids. This is what's awesome. He takes his kids to Boy, this. Boy, this guy. He's got kids. Procreated? No. Yeah. No. He's got kids. And and uh, his ex-wife is also in this, in this, they call it ZRT, zombie response team. Okay. So anyway, they're they're in this and they're and they're doing this together. Okay. And he's got a new girlfriend now. He's trying to get her, you know, in, into the so, whole zombie thing. So is thing. this is this zerting or is this like sister wiving? I, no, no, no. Because his ex is there and his, and his well, girlfriend's his ex there. Is there because she's a founding member of this club. Okay, uh, uh, of course. So spoiler alert: at the end of the show, she's, she's got eight bucks into this. She's yeah. getting her money. <laughs> at the end of the show, <laughs> they do an archery contest, and they and then they swear in his daughter, his oldest daughter, to be in the club too. So because she's good on social media, so is, now they can have a social. Is media it like that, that beginning of Wonder Woman where they like? It's like a whole Olympic thing where she's got. <laughs> all right, you got to shoot that ring as it comes across the sun. My buddy Nitro is yeah. up there shooting tennis balls at you. <laughs> it's like, are are we in American Gladiators <laughs> from the eighties? What are we doing right now? <laughs> uh, they weren't using those props. <laughs> yeah, but Zert Blaze West... is eighty four years old. I can't push her off. West with a Coast Q-tip. CRT got a deal on that. <laughs> West Coast CRT. <laughs> So this is the honest to God truth. He goes to this, um, it looks like probably like a, a a paintball place, okay? And they must have rented it out. And he takes his kids with to do a drill. His kids are the hostages. He has to recover his children, okay? So he gets all the way done. He calls the drill. <laughs> First off, he comes out. <laughs> when the drill's almost over, he's trying to get the other people to stop. He goes, time. Okay, first off. <laughs> You can't be like, car, yeah. you know what I mean? Zombies got to stop. <laughs> Respect the timeout. Yeah. I get three of them per half, okay? Respect the timeout. Randy, Randy, stop eating that brain. <laughs> no brain eating during timeout. You know the rules. Randy, I call times. Call times. So anyway, <laughs> and I get, you got any coops for Arby's? <laughs> We're going to go to Arby's <laughs> afterwards. But he comes out, Ted. This is the best thing I've ever seen on television where he's he's like he's hoisting himself up on this pedestal, which I would gladly do for myself if I was doing something I was super proud of. Right. And then he looks around and realizes he's missing a child. (laughs) He goes, we're going back in. They go in. They find her. She's like she's a 
she's probably 12 to 14 years old. She's on her cell phone texting or playing games, and they literally left her standing there. There's, like, zombies all around her. <laughs> They're all like, are we, are we supposed to do anything with her? <laughs> I heard he called times outside. Yeah, are we, yeah. What are we supposed to do yeah. right now? They're, like, trying to, they're trying to stay in character, like, Arr, are you okay, kid? Arr, <laughs> do you know where your parents are? <laughs> right. They're paging overhead. Yeah. Well, the parents, are, please come back. <laughs> please come back to the dungeon where the zombies have your child. <laughs> the zombies have found your children. Could you please return <laughs> to the info well, desk? Uh, we would just like everyone to know that go-karts are two for one on Saturdays. <laughs> right. And could... Could Mike please come back to the zombie training area? Mike to the zombie training area. We think you left something behind. Her name's Charlotte. The next paintball will be adult paintball. Right. Right. So, and, and the last thing, last thing with the So, two things. So, their family night, okay, he has pig's feet that he has cut. He sliced them, and he's teaching the kids how to give stitches for after a zombie bite. He goes, this skin is very much like people's skin. I mean, yeah, they do use... Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. So they do that on Mythbusters a lot. When they need to substitute a body, they would use a pig. Right. And so, so the girl that got left behind, that's the oldest, yeah. she sets down her cell phone at the table and then starts doing it. He's like, oh, yeah, oh you, you got a real future in this. Okay, first off, I don't uh, think... Yeah, that's not a future. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe given backwoods medical care right. is not the future yeah. you're looking for, you know? Did you rub you, some whiskey on yeah. it? You ever get a memory? Does anyone know how to repair pig's feet? <laughs> my God, I've waited my whole life for this. Hey, I just love if she would have looked at the camera and dropped her like, what am I, a farmer? You know? <laughs> I'd be like, I know a guy that says that all the time. <laughs> Copyright, patent pending. Yeah. <laughs> so, Calm but, yeah. But the last thing. His prepping kit, okay? So every time he goes somewhere in the car, he takes his prepping kit with because he never knows when that's going to be the time, okay? So his prepping kit includes a knife, toilet paper, and chapstick. <laughs> and so my note says, zombies apparently hate dangleberries and moist lips. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, how do you, how do well, you keep... Maybe if maybe he has your toilet paper. Maybe it's one ply. Oh, and the chapstick's not for his mouth. He's just grinding them with it. He's yeah. just right in your face. No, I was going to say the chapstick's not for his mouth. It's for his butt. <laughs> Hey, Mike, do you have a bucket for that poop? No. No. Mm -mm. No. Couldn't you just keep all that stuff in a bucket? Well, now you're thinking. Ooh. Ooh. So my new prep kit has a bucket. A knife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you, hey, where's your knife? I left it in the bucket. I'm not getting it so now. He, he spends family night teaching him how to sew up. Uh, pig's feet. Pig's feet. Yeah. His survival kit does not come with, like, suture or not needles or any kind <laughs> of, like, right. medical supplies. <laughs> Hey, he's, maybe he's should, making thread out of toilet paper. Maybe you should have had a mummy night and taught yeah. him how to wrap yeah, him in right. toilet paper. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come to my house. I'll show him how to use toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? It's a plunger. So you're going to need it. So again, this show's called In My Own World. And when I tell you now, you see that. Yeah, because his people world. are in his own world. The next one is so much in his own world. I, I, I never laughed so hard in my entire life. Okay. And, and you know what's weird is like these people honestly believe they're making a difference. And and that's that's okay. Well, something like because there used to be a show on TLC where it was like upstream obsessions, obsessions or whatever. And there was yes. one, one guy was in love with this Pontiac. Like they actually showed him like <laughs> was it a Trans Am? Because I could see that. Look, I know you could. Yeah, they actually showed him like on the ground making out with the grill and stuff. Yeah, it was oh really disturbing. Oh man. Yeah, I, I I'm assuming that person has never shown his face for the rest of his life. Right. Yeah. <laughs> He's down at the exhaust shop. You got anything sexier? Yeah. <laughs> you got anything warmed up? <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Oh, too hot. Too hot. <laughs> Dual exhaust, dare I? <laughs> <laughs> His license plate say three-way. <laughs> How'd you burn your lips? Never mind. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Tyler. Oh, previously on That Checks Out. Yeah. yeah. Timestamp. So, <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> Tyler 
uh, the next episode, and we only seen two episodes, so I'm sure there's going to be more for me to talk. What are the, what's Nicole's like take on this? Oh, she she was first off. She watches shows that I I would never watch with with people. <laughs> she watches that trash TV. Yeah. I would never watch no, that. No, but like, oh, I was saying it. Though. You have to know it. Right. I said it. But like the shows she watches, I would um, I would watch them to feel better about myself. You follow me? Yeah. And in reality, I don't think that's... I, I follow you. I do it every Saturday morning <laughs> from 9 to 10. <laughs> he walks outside. It's like charity work. <laughs> He's like, I got to get my hours signed off on by Mac every Saturday uh, to say I was here doing... <laughs> I walk out and I do the Andy Dufresne at the end of Shawshank. <laughs> I crawled through a pipe full of... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And now he's going to drive me home. Yeah, there's, there's always a storm and lightning has raised my hands up. I've made it another time. Yeah. So Tyler wants to astral project himself into another dimension to interact with other life forms. Oh, Lord. Okay. Astral projection, also known as astral, it's A-S-T-R-A-L, not astro, but astral travel. I had an astro. <laughs> yeah. You could have went to other dimensions That's with Tyler. I could have drove you there, dude, in the yeah, 90s. Yeah, I could have drove you there. there. Yeah. yeah. Gas was cheaper then. We should have done yeah. it. Um, it's It describes an intentional out-of-body experience, okay? Um, I I don't understand that. And, again, more power to you, whatever. It, it is what it is. Um, but here's the best part. He composes his own music, okay? Um, he called Meditation Beats. <laughs> Okay. Please tell me they played some of these. Yes. And it will, he, he believes that it will also entice alien life forms into interaction. So basically, like, you know how <clears throat> I have several buddies that, that compose music. Yeah. And a lot of them are very gifted. Yeah. Sometimes Mac plays them for himself here. <laughs> he does. He does. Mac, by the way, what do you listen to now? Because we can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> it's, it's fire, a, though. Let me tell you. It's, it's fire. fire. <laughs> so dead. It's a secret. <laughs> you don't get to know. Hey, that was your quarterly speak. Now so be quiet. This guy. <laughs> okay. He hasn't. <laughs> he hasn't pissed off enough people. He he's going into the ghost world to try to drop, to try to sell mixtapes. Yeah. Well, this guy's also. <laughs> Mac gets what I'm talking about. This guy's hey man, also. You, you, you got I bet that happens to you at the GC all the time. He's got that market corner. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta hear my. You gotta, you gotta hear my CDs. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta hear my CD. Hey man, you got an eight track player in that yeah. car? Yeah. You got a ghost CD player. <laughs> It only plays ghost tunes. Uh, so, and here's the best part. He puts them on his phone. He goes out, he sets his phone down and hits play. So he's playing it for the aliens from the speaker on his cell phone, which we all know hits like a beast you oh, know, yeah, when they get yeah. the bass going. <laughs> okay. But he literally calls them that they're, they're his meditation beats. All right. So they go outside and they sit in lawn chairs. Okay. Uh, in a town, sometimes just outside of town, but still, there's so many lights. You know, when you're outside of a town, there's, there's, it's all lit up. Okay, as somebody who's actually, I was blessed one time to go to a property, 245 acres, middle of nowhere, Iowa, actually, Dad, Iowa. <laughs> okay, when you sat Wait, what, outside, was it beachfront? <laughs> it was beachfront. All right, but when you sat outside at night, you saw, it, you saw every star in the sky. It was crazy because it was so dark. Deep in the heart of Iowa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was looking for my bike. It was in the basement of the Alamo. So anyway. Let me go to the basement. <laughs> if you get that reference, we love you. You yeah. are definitely our people. Ma Mac clearly won't. Yeah, Mac doesn't understand. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway, he makes these beats. They go out, they sit, and they 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 basically just tilt their head back and stare at the sky. And they're like, oh, did you see that one? Oh, did you see that one? First off, if it was that easy, wouldn't we all see that one? Right. Okay. So so they're talking about it. And his dad um, is not on board. Now, Mike is, he has children. He's married. Wait, is this Mike? Or is this a different Oh, guy? I'm sorry. No, no, no. This 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 is Tyler. Right. Tyler, Tyler right. has, Tyler's married, has, has children, uh, lives not in his dad's house. Okay. Um, and he says, he goes, well, I know, I know you don't back me. He goes, well, that's because it's not a career. You know, like the right. way he says it, you know? Because Well, he's not making beats by Dre. He's making beats by Cray. <laughs> yeah. Z. Yeah, yeah. Cray Z. Oh, yeah, there you go. He's not... Yeah. Cray Z. Yeah, Cray Z. Yeah. <laughs> he can marry Neonce. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can marry Seance. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. You know, Dad, take it back, Brian. <laughs> that was amazing. Well, now we know what he's listening to, and he said it's fire. His fiance is Seance. 
But yeah, so when he composes these, he calls himself the Astral. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like DJ Astral. I go, he's got two UFOs going, dig it, dig it, dig it. You know, I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> but he literally took it. He took it to a party, and he brought out this one big speaker, and he and he hooked up his his phone Bluetooth. <laughs> it was just a, like one. Yeah, one of those you know like you can buy them at a Walgreens <laughs> right. tube speaker. Yeah. So he he puts it on and he's like and and, he, and he's really feeling kind of like Mac was feeling the beat to the song we didn't right. hear when we started. He's feeling this beat and then you see all these older people that are like, oh yeah, and and they're all like they're backing him like, oh that'll definitely attract you some attention. That'll are you kidding me right now? So that means Dr. Dre and Eminem have probably talked to every alien life form on the on the face right. you know in in the galaxy. And uh, well, I think the old people just wanted to be cool. <laughs> I guess this is what the kids are into. So what he calls himself is an ambassador to the extraterrestrial. He's an embarrassment to the, <laughs> to to the terrestrial. <laughs> That's the problem. To the terrestrial. Look, there's nothing extra about your terrestrial. <laughs> you are an There's nothing extra about you, yeah. but nothing about. Yeah. When in reality, he's really just a, a, a rapper with auto-tune. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's really what he is. He Because he does sing on these, too. Uh, and when you hear him, it's, I mean, it, it is, it's like, he talks like this when he's talking and it's like, yeah, man, you know, you're like, you auto tune the crap out of yourself. And those are your extraterrestrial beats. So if you get a chance, if you have, I know it's on direct TV. I don't know if it's on anything else. Cause it's uh, I think the channel's called vice. So I don't know, but uh, it, oh. it is called in my own world. And these people are definitely, definitely in their own world. Yeah. But I watched it with my wife. This is considered like uh, it's a How date. How do you decide what you're going to, you're gonna like. How do you come up on that show and be like, "This is it"? Well, so I saw. I was watching something else. I don't remember what it was, but I was watching something by myself, and this ad come out, and I looked at it, and and I said, "Nicole would lo- Nicole would watch <laughs> like, that." This is bonkers. Yeah. Where is Nicole? <laughs> yeah. So I tape it, and I go, "Hey, th- I I I I I uh, recorded this. We got to watch this." And she reads the. It's the first one was the prepper. She goes, "Oh," and she she's engrossed. She's in. It, so am I. So it it. it Kudos to you for finding entertainment for me, okay? <laughs> Kudos to you. <laughs> See, here's the problem in my house. Tina's idea of watching TV, most 90% of the time, is turning on the, the streaming service and then not getting past the who's streaming screen. <laughs> <laughs> so 90 minutes later, I'll come down. I can't ask if she's still watching because she didn't even get in. Yeah. It's just the avatars that each of us have picked. Like in Disney+, Plus, it's like, you know... Her blank face because she didn't put any effort into it. <laughs> right. Spider-Man and, you know, like yeah. one of the Disney princesses. I'm, I'm Maui. <laughs> right. kids made me Maui. Yeah. And then on, on Netflix, it's you know, like, it's just like, and then she's later like, who turned the TV on? You did. Right. Two hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I watched the stuff on my laptop over here because nothing happened on the TV. Right. Yeah. And she's got the remote. You're like, yeah. ah. Mm, yeah. Mm. Ooh. Maybe she falls asleep. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the like the jailer's keys. Well, You're just well, yeah. trying to work it out of their hand. No, know? that's the problem. It's half under the dog. Like, <sighs> yeah. Ooh, how do I get that and not wake both of them? <laughs> right, right. One of them's gonna wake up. So, but since we watch these, so we watch this on our actual, you know, direct TV. So you get done, and inevitably, whenever you watch something that you have recorded on that system, when you come back in, you come into a live show on whatever channel, right? So we come into some live episode of of you know where it's playing on the sh- on the tv of ncis which i never watch ever i you probably into stuff like that though right that NCIS. mark Harmon is a handsome man <laughs> yeah. no well, I, i've never watched it i mean i've seen him but i'm not into yeah NCIS. but but anyway so they're in a courtroom and this is as soon as you yes <laughs> and as soon as they as soon as we hit it off uh hit the thing off it's in the little box up in the corner you yeah. know and all you hear this is what you said the guy goes, he said he'd kill my wife if I didn't follow his directions. That's what he says, right? <laughs> now, mind you, I just got done with, like, date night, if right. you will, watching, you know, prepper shows. And uh, Well, how, how hard are the in- instructions? Yeah, so I start dying laughing. Right. And she goes, what? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to ruin the hour I just put into this other show with you. You're going to ruin the image that she's used yeah, to? Yeah. So I'm like, I don't want to say it. But I do because, like, if you were there, it would be, like, the best line ever. Yeah. But it's going to fall on deaf ears and not be appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, how much effort do I got to put in? So she goes, what? And I said, I'd call his bluff. Yeah, <laughs> and she goes, what? Say, like, she goes, what? And I go, I go, I'd be like, prove it. <laughs> you know? And she's like, what? And I go, then I'd be like, if he knocked on my door, I'd be like, you need to borrow a couple bullets. You know? <laughs> I mean, what, do you, what do you do, you know? And she's like, you really, that's what popped in your head? I'm like, Yes. 
That's why when I laugh out loud, I don't say what I'm thinking. Uh, what I get is after 20 years or so, she hasn't figured out that that's where you're going to go. <laughs> there is no other option for you to go anywhere. You're Step like, in front of the Coors Light yeah. train before it drives right through the this couch. This is where I'm going. Yeah. Like, I don't understand why we're having a problem with it. For us, whenever that would happen, it was, for some reason, always on some, like, free uh, show that just repeated Gordon Ramsay shows. Yeah. So you'd literally turn off, like, some sort of moving documentary or a Disney cartoon and to be like... Why did you do that? You're effing donut. You're like, oh god, <laughs> right? Why? Because right. the volume's always off, you know. So it's like, oh yeah, it's decent for the streaming thing. But You're then this, this TV thing would literally be like, I told you not to do that, <laughs> dummy. Yeah. Like, oh wow, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. And we're back. And yeah. we're back. <laughs> right. It is. It's so so weird. Why does that happen from app to app on your TV? <laughs> I don't know. We'll do that. We get on did Disney you, and we put it on like sixty, and we're like, cool. Then you get it back on something else. You're like, you're like, oh my god, the TV's yelling at me. You, you know. See, Gordon Ramsay has a new show out right now called Next Level Chef. Okay. Here's the concept. He and two other chefs that pick teams. Every week they go get a key card. The teams do. They go get a key card and go to an elevator. They can either drop them off on a commercial kitchen, a high end professional like Michelin, Michelin, uh, Michelin chef kitchen. Or the bottom level is literally like a dumpster with hot plates. That's <laughs> literally it's. And what happens was they, they they send the ingredients down, so the first level gets it first, and then it gets to the second level, and they get what's left, and the third level gets what's left from the first two levels, and they have to make a dish. And that's the whole concept. And they go on, they mentor people, but yeah. literally, some people have like high end, top of the line stuff that even like most restaurants don't have, and the people on the bottom are literally like, "Yeah, good luck. Here's a sterno can and some wishes. Right, yeah. Hopefully, you can make us a, a dish." It, <laughs> It's so weird. You might want to season that with your tears. This is where we're at, though. Yeah. This is where we come from. We've come from, you know, Julia Child and all of those, like, shows, right. the Frugal Gourmet and whatnot. Justin Wilson. Right. Yeah. This is what I'm going to do. This did. did. Oh, you yeah. beat me to this it. This is what I'm going to do. Son of a gun. <laughs> to, like, literally, like, chopped where they'd be like, all right, uh, we're just going to throw some crap in a basket. Good luck. Right. <laughs> to now, uh, we're going to put you in a homeless alley. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the only heat you're going to get is from that man's stew. You're going to need to cook off that heat. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to drop you in the gorilla tank at the zoo and, and you are now the prey. <laughs> I'm not kidding. One of the episodes, they were so desperate at the bottom level that a steak had fallen off in the p transition from level one, three to level two. They took it. The guy at the bottom was like, you know, that steak did fall. And he went and got that off the bottom. Like it was, was falling down past the elevator. Like where all the, like, you know, clear the. Well, it wasn't cooked yet. Yeah. But, yeah. But all the mechanisms are down there. and the, <laughs> Wash it off. Cook it. I've cooked this in a uh, <laughs> demi glass of elevator grease. Yes, it's marinated in gear oil, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it smells like when you opened a rear end of a nineteen seventy four. What's taste, Gabby? Oh, that was Luis. He was working on the elevator before the show. <laughs> he left his scent. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so, where I don't know where we are. No, so where so, are we? So I was previously you. on that checked out. <laughs> You don't ask my brain where it goes, and she did. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. That's my point. Like, how does right. she not know at this point? Like, so, you are not going to like the answer. And she honestly, she looks at me, and I, and, and she goes, what? And I go, I'd be the worst killer. And she's like, what do you mean? And I says, I'm not going to say. I, I don't want to say, but I, but I do. But I'm like, I said, so I said, say that you disappeared, okay? <laughs> All well, right. Let's say, and you get really dis distinct about it. Let's say you disappeared under the pool sometime in September, maybe around like September 15th. And then I was going to have the pool cut. <laughs> like, you're like, right. you're the whole details. That's right. just hypothetical. Right. Right. I mean, in theory. In theory. In theory. Okay. <laughs> this is strictly a hypothesis. Can you take some vacation time around then, though? So your work right. won't notice you for right. at least a week. <laughs> But I said, I said, like, as soon as the kid stopped searching for you, would be like, your mother would roll over in her grave if she knew this right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> your mother would roll over in her subterranean under the pool grave. Yeah. What? Like, the kids would be like, who said she's dead? I, I, I'm not saying. I'm, just... I'm saying, like, this is the kind of action that would make a person like your mother roll in, over in her grave. Right. In right. the grave that I have dug for her. Who, right. who said you dug a grave? Right. I didn't say that. <laughs> Remember, remember when we when we did that? Uh, what was it? The relay race with the shovel because I wanted everybody's hands yeah. on it. Remember that? Yeah, hands oh. across America. <laughs> I used to do that all the time at work. Hey, can you grab this real quick? And I would like turn a hammer around the other way. What do you mean? Hey, uh, just can you just as you would naturally? Can you grab this hand? Yeah. Why? Need Why? another set of prints. Yeah. <laughs> Need another set of prints. Oh, multiple di <laughs> deniability is what that's called. <laughs> um. So, <laughs> and the other thing is, we've had some really good like um, football. But now I'm watching live football. My red zone channel's gone. Oh, well, I watched, like, we got that, 
antenna you can buy to get like right, the, yeah, yeah. So one of the channels came in, came yeah. in like as as if it were like broadcasting clear, huh? from my attic, <laughs> and the other one was literally like. Trying to, it was like I was like, uh, "This is football, guys. I'm not trying to watch Skinamax in the '90s. Can we just put this on my screen?" <laughs> like it's coming from your attic. Yeah, I just picture Joe Buck just used the restroom and he left the door closed. Should I be worried? <laughs> that sounds like a Joe Buck move. Right. That sounds like a Joe Buck move. Yeah. But, 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 like we're watching football. I'm like, yeah, I can watch it again. We have TV. Yeah. I totally forgot. And like, I missed the weekend where all the weird, like, crazy games were. Oh yeah, yeah. But I actually got to see the it's still good. The Bengals and the yeah. Chiefs game. That yeah. that ending and everything. It was, it was a like, great game. Yeah. Yeah. But but I was like this. Oh, I like I remember. This is why people get excited about this stuff yeah, again. But see, but now I have to watch commercials. Oh yeah, that's you know, true. remember when you're in the red zone channel? There's no commercials. Yeah. They just cut. Well, that's the thing. I have been watching streaming since 1981. It feels like now. <laughs> yeah. And a commercial came on, and I was like, Where, "Where's the skip ad button? <laughs> How do I fast forward to <laughs> yeah. this? What's going on? <laughs> Will it go away in five seconds? Where's yeah. the box? Yeah. Where's the box? <laughs> oh, video will play after ad. No, <laughs> no." But they had they had a slim fast commercial on because of course we're we were you know you're in January the tail end of January yeah um, oh no it's just targeted marketing to you yeah. <laughs> all these people are like half my size and they're the ones trying to lose weight and I'm like I look like Jabba the Hutt compared to everybody in this commercial I look at it just solo and I'm like if everybody in your commercial is already smaller than me yeah. that's probably not a good yeah. you need someone bigger than me uh, yeah. did the befores not show up yeah <laughs> yeah. We have six afters. All right, put them in. Let's go. We're gonna. I lost rewrite. eight pounds on Slim Fit. Yeah, you took a dump. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, good for you. I lost, I lost twelve pounds on. I set the case of Slim Fast on the yeah. counter. Did you weigh yourself while you were holding uh, yeah. the case? And I took my boots off. <laughs> I'm when you go to the doctor and they're like, "Hey, we need to weigh you real quick." Not in the winter, you don't. Yeah. I'm wearing a jacket with <laughs> yeah, keys and my right. wallet and my phone. <laughs> yeah. And my heavy boots. You know, when I have cargo shorts, I yeah. carry a lot of stuff. When yeah. I have cargo clothes, yeah. I carry way more stuff. And when the doctor comes in, the, he looks, he's like, I was fully dressed, sir. <laughs> I was fully dressed. Don't you, make me take my clothes you off. Pull, you pull out the anvil <laughs> from your pocket, set it down. Look, this is not fair. <laughs> Well, I remember back in the day they used to weigh you like in the doctor's offices like individually. Now it's like right you come in through the doors right in the hallway and they're yeah. like, "Please just step up on the cattle scale." And you're like And they announce it to the room. Yeah. It's like, "Oh, hey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now appearing on the scale." <laughs> What's the over under? There's a comma yeah. in this one. <laughs> in the white trunks and red boots. Yeah. Santa Claus weighing in. Yeah. Right. From Wilmington, Illinois, weighing in at 782 pounds. <laughs> and he still didn't have his own show on TV. <laughs> that's the one thing that they they give people all them shows when they're really big. And that's why I said I can't watch that that's, stuff. Well, that's you just, know what I mean? Yeah, that's just me, exploitation. Look, if you want to exploit a guy who wants to hunt zombies, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Because he is a little off in the rocker. Yeah. If you're well, just, But to be fair, the people they put on that 600-pound life show, yeah. some of them, I, I get everything, but some of them are like, there's there were the two sisters that were trying to lose weight to get a surgery or something like that. They are not mentally healthy people. And oh, they put them my on wife TV, watches that. That's on, thousand pound sisters. Is, is that what it is? Yes. Like yes. The one must weigh that by herself. But yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like well, the other. The other one weighs yeah. like eighty six pounds. Yeah. Like we're thousand pound sisters. Oh, you, you know? had a sister? Cool. <laughs> We'll throw her on. Uh, hey, we were going to round up, but we'll throw your sister on. Make it legit. She sits on her lap. It's like one of those dummy yeah. things. Hey, say hello to everybody, you know? But it's literally oh, yeah. like they'll come over. Like, I don't know why I'm not losing weight. I just, I mean, I'm eating the low-fat cakes. You're eating a pallet of them a day. Correct. I know, but they're low-fat. I don't understand. And, it's and that's so, why I yeah. have a hard time watching that. Yeah, it's it's. it's a, my disturbing. brain still racist to stupid stuff, and I say it out loud. So I, I leave the room. <laughs> to, to be clear, he says he said races. Yeah. To stupid yeah. stuff. Yeah, races. There was no T in that. No, but but it does. It, it, just, it just starts going 100 miles an hour to, like, just the absolute craziness. Yeah. And it's like... It's already there. It's put. They put it. You know. And again, I, I wouldn't want to be exploited like that. That's cool. If 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 that's like, well, that's how I make a living now. I make. I get it, but like nobody's laughing with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, we found out a lot of times these reality shows don't pay out. The, the Duggars, for example. <laughs> yeah. Let's put this giant family on there with their conservative values, and then find out their child is literally the Antichrist. <laughs> How'd that play out for you, TLC? <laughs> oh man, it's sweeps week. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, so staying in this, uh, vein of these are date nights. This is what, you know, this is what we do. I, wow. I mean, I don't, you are a catch, my friend. Huh? You, Hey, what's the date night with Damon? Like, oh, we sit in the house and watch weird shows about mentally challenged people. And then I make jokes about killing my wife. <laughs> oh, so he's going to be single soon. 
Oh Ooh. Yeah, look at that dad bod. <laughs> look at that body. You say do, you say dad bod? What were you doing in my, under my pool? You said dad, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what were you under my pool for? It didn't even happen yet. I mean, whatever. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little corpsey. It's still good. Yeah. So instead of doing strange stories, uh, I wanted to do. Um, oh yeah, this is supposed to be some sort of Valentine's yeah, thing. Valentine's right? Yeah, we've Day really been. Stuff. Can you feel the love? Can <laughs> you feel? First off, if this, this glove if tonight. <laughs> The glove. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's covered with chloroform. Yeah. Does it smell like chloroform? <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> I broke you. Off the rails, man. <laughs> I broke you. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I have down here, I have a list of Ooh. nine unusual ways to celebrate <laughs> Valentine's Day. Can you bring it up here? Yeah. <laughs> a little higher. Um <laughs> number one, which I hear they canceled this year. So this must be like oh, the year's little list. white castle. Yes. Eat Valentine's Day white uh White Castle sliders. Um, I'm never going to do that, so that's not a problem. Been yeah. there. You, you've done that? <laughs> well, yeah, you've been there, but for Valentine's Day? Yeah. Did oh, you really? Story. <laughs> Let's have it. So You shouldn't I have mean, opened your mouth. It's this been 15 time minutes. Ago. Story it's time been, with Mac. It's been a long time ago. It was yeah, 2019. 15 years ago. In a land far away? <laughs> at least. No, basically, uh, me and the girlfriend at the time were supposed to go to the sushi place. Wait, wait, wait. Is it not your wife? No. Mm-mm. Well, no, this, this before, checks out. Way before. I wait, the person you took to White Castle for Valentine's Day <laughs> didn't want to marry you? Didn't say I do? All right. Weird. Everyone's up on the Looking speed. back, it was a setup for the future. <laughs> <laughs> no, we <laughs> we wanted to go to this sushi place. And, uh, <laughs> and you settled on White Castle. <laughs> hey, what is the oh. most anti-sushi food on the face of the earth? <laughs> I heard they got fish on a bun. Yeah, look this up so we can make eye contact. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, so, all right. I guess it's been around for okay. this apparently. We're either going to have sushi or blankets. It's like, what are, uh, we, what are we doing? <laughs> so the sushi place we were supposed to go to was like in Mokina, I okay. want to say. Yeah. And I drove to Manuka, <laughs> which is yeah. in the opposite we're, direction. We're familiar. <laughs> so I was in Manuka this morning. I know that. So do you think that your illiteracy had anything to do with her also not saying, I do? I was a little confused. <laughs> Halfway through well, the car ride. Way there, and I'm like, this is not right. This doesn't look right, because I've been to this place before. <laughs> Halfway through the car ride in the silence, he's, he's like, can you not hear the music? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've had I forget, radio on the whole time. I forget the whole sequence of events after that, but I feel like we drove. I want to say we drove all the way back to the other place, and at that point, like it was closed, or like we didn't have reservations, and you couldn't get in. Oh man! And then, and then somehow, yeah, we just ended up at White Castle. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I think it was her idea, though. I'm pretty sure. You just see some guy, at Mac party of two, and Mac. Party of two. I would have. Li- <laughs> I guess he's not coming. I don't know. I would have liked. I would have liked to have done like a post date interview. Yeah. And just set them both in a chair separately. Yeah. And it, it, like when you're talking to Mac, he would have been like, um, "I don't know why she was so quiet the whole time. I mean, I had the music on in the car, and I, and then and then you talk to her. She's like, I don't know why he was so quiet all the time. He didn't even have the radio on in the car. <laughs> well, you, you go to Mac. And he's like, uh, turns out. Mokina is not Manuka. <laughs> and then could have like, uh, I don't think he wanted to take me to sushi and came up with this really dumb plan so we would end up at White Castle. Oh, hey, you know man. what says Happy Valentine's Day is hot poops yeah. and fast sliders. Can I have the slider tempura, please? <laughs> hey, uh, okay, when bye. you bring out the fish sandwiches, can you just tell her it's tempura? <laughs> Technically That's, correct. <laughs> Could I have that chicken tempura kind too? Of correct. Yeah, take, <laughs> yeah, and some onion tempura. Yeah. Yeah. Some unbreaded potato. I realize tempura. it's all made in the same tempura grease, so it's all going to taste the same. It's all good. Yeah, the tempura <laughs> is hot. You know, I I think the part that <laughs> the part that was going to no, surprise me the, the most. You know, I'm going to break this down. Yeah, here's the part. The part that was going to surprise me the most was basically like imagine her getting home and like her mom goes, "How was the date?" Well, my uh, illiterate boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> drove me to the wrong town. Okay, then showed That's me where. Weird. We were. The last time I went here, the compass said W. You know what? Maybe you're onto something. That might be classic. <laughs> Maybe that's what I tell Nicole on Valentine's Day. Is I go, hey, listen, 
I got huge reservations tonight, la, la, la. And then I drive to the wrong damn town. <laughs> and we end up in front of a Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm it's like, well. It's important that it's in the complete opposite direction. <laughs> yeah. where you you there's no be. way you right. want to actually kind of make the reservation, you know. <laughs> well, it's yeah, 30 now. You, where do you, you want to go now? Well, you I tell mean, her it's Rockford and you end up in Rockdale. <laughs> <laughs> These both suck. Why are we going to either yeah. one of these? Hey, I see a Bob Evans. What do you think? <laughs> what am I, a farmer? Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, I just find that to be awesome because I've never. <laughs> I don't. It how, turns how, out Manuka is not Mokita. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I was like, Mac, I was in, I was in Manuka this morning. There's no White Castle were, there. There's were, more to this story. Were you like, was this part of like a scavenger hunt riddle that you were solving? You're like, I mixed up the letters the wrong way. Oh, you, you can see what I did. Well, maybe. There. Yeah. Uh, I think we ended up at the White Castle in Joliet, actually. On Jefferson? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Which doesn't even start with an M. So yeah. we're the total. Well, here's the time. problem. He's like, okay, I know there's an M, a K, and an A in it. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the letters I could read. <laughs> I like to buy a vowel. I bought too many of the O's. <laughs> yeah, it's not my fault. Vanda turned over two O's. Yeah, she turned over two O's. Same on letters. I don't know what's going on. Very weird. <laughs> Very weird. And the K and the N were inverse. I don't know what's going on. So weird. <laughs> so that's one place you can take your day. <laughs> But you can't do it this year. <laughs> so Yeah, so don't even try this I year, I swear Mac. to God, if Mac has a story for this one, I'm going to punch him. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know that was the best story we've had for Mac in a while. Right, yeah. Uh, number two is a scary attraction that could make or break a romance. They call it, like, the Bloody Valentine. So here's what's funny, is they actually give you destinations. So this is great if you live in Nawata, Oklahoma, okay? All, all eight people that do? Yeah. The asylum, a haunted attraction. Where are we going? We're going to the asylum. Well, first off, my wife would be having me committed. That's right. why we're going to the asylum. One of us is not coming out, you know? So um, it's a haunted attraction uh, that's usually only open during the Halloween season, but they tweak it. They call it the Sweetheart Slaughter Engagement in February. You know what? We take down these pumpkins and put up hearts. <laughs> We could make money in February, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for those people that claim it's still death to his part, <laughs> that's where they want to go. So uh, you, yeah, you said death to his part? Let's, yeah. let's put it to the test. Well, the real thing would be, seriously, if, you, if, you, uh, if you're not jumpy, you're going to get a lot of, like, hugs. You're going to get some cuddles. I mean, you think <laughs> about it. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, she's totally into me. Well, no, she does not want to be murdered it, by the It depends upon her. You're either going to get some cuddles or some puddles. Yeah, Those right. are your two options. Yeah. Did, did you just piss yourself? Yeah. It's an asylum, you jerk. Yeah. And Mac drives at a wrong one. He's at a real asylum. Just walk in the halls. This place is so realistic. I thought you said we we're going to a museum. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Different letters. There's no A in museum. I don't even know how you got here. I just heard the um. Yeah. <laughs> museum. Um. <laughs> uh, I beg to differ. Museum. <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> number number three is learn the ways of love between species at the Detroit Zoo. No, no, what? No. <laughs> so, honey, I found somewhere romantic. We're going to Detroit. <laughs> I was talking more about learning the ways of love from a zoo, but yeah, you make a point. Yeah, we're going to Detroit. Uh, in February. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. It is in February. Thank you. Why can't we do this in San Diego Zoo? <laughs> they call it Love Gone Wild Celebration at the Zoo. <laughs> Singles and sweethearts, 21 and older, will learn lessons about animal love, stroll the grounds uh, with hors d'oeuvres, drinks and then receive a commemorative what are they gift. popsicles yeah. <laughs> it's february in detroit <laughs> can i have some modestly cool chocolate it started out as hot chocolate but now it's it's really not what i was hoping for <laughs> can i have some watery chocolate milk please yeah. <laughs> and the guy the guy's lips are froze he's like peanuts i don't know what he's saying but i don't want that <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure what you're saying. <laughs> what happened to your teeth? I thought it was a marshmallow. It turned out it was an ice cube. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah. Basically, you're going to walk around the zoo and learn and learn about animal 
list of yeah, clubs. I don't. I don't, I don't yeah, it, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's a very fine line there. <laughs> Well, honey, when I do that at home, you don't seem to love it at all. I don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. So you're saying if I throw shit at you, that's called foreplay. (laughs) I got it. (laughs) I got it. I I noted that three pins back. I don't know what we're talking about. I hit her hit her with a side of stew (laughs) right in the face. (laughs) I don't know how she wasn't ready after that. I have no idea. Would the Detroit mean nothing? Yeah, right. That's the whole thing. Like, let's stop with the word Detroit. Uh, forget, you're like, yeah, in February. I know how cold it is here. Right. No. Hey, let's go to a zoo that's right on a great lake. Yeah. In yeah. February. Yeah. Uh, number four, Starbucks caters your Valentine sweet tooth. Uh, I've never really had, because I don't drink coffee, so I've never had Starbucks. Uh, I, here's the thing. Some people like Starbucks because it's consistent. And I will say, from Starbucks to Starbucks to Starbucks, it is pretty much the same. I cannot say that about Dunkin' Call Me, because yeah. <laughs> I've gone to a thousand of them, ordered a iced black coffee. Right. That's it's literally get. coffee beans and water. That's all you have to do. All different. Never, not one is tasted the same. <laughs> nice. Well, uh, I know what I ordered. What did you put in this cup? <laughs> An iceberg. <laughs> the T. Iceberg, right ahead. <laughs> the Bar- T stands for the. Yeah. Baracchio is Italian for iceberg. <laughs> so Gross. Number five, Netflix and chill. Get this. At this London hotel. Yeah, you know what? It'd be pretty romantic if I could take my wife <laughs> right. to London to Netflix and chill. For- you think we're going to yeah. watch the zombie response team on TV? <laughs> we're going to be in a London hotel. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. We got some shows taped. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I could be like, uh, Damon, we paid $3,500 <laughs> to come watch the stuff we watch at home. I know, and I can't get this to get synced to my Bluetooth so yeah. I can watch my shows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. It, well, it, but it's London probably in thine own mind, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. right. <laughs> this is the American Netflix? I came over here for the accents. What's going oh, on? Oh, my God. It's so crazy. <laughs> what do you think the Queen England's doing right now? <laughs> Probably in Detroit, looking yeah. at animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out she's in Detroit, <laughs> having a moderately cool chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, number six, Valentine's Day underwear delivered to your door. How about if we call it lingerie <laughs> instead of underwear? <laughs> yeah, because it's. <laughs> I brought you them britches you wanted. <laughs> I know well done. I noticed yours been getting grungy because I've done the last couple of loads of laundry. So I thought I'd hook you up. <laughs> you know? What are you oh, doing? You wanted lingerie? That's more expensive. <laughs> so it says in Manhattan. Now we're in New York. So by the way, we have to be a chat center to get any of these. Can any of these stuff happen below the Mason yeah. Dixon line? From February 12th through Valentine's Day, they call it Uber Rush will deliver lingerie straight to your door. Now they call it lingerie here. They call it underwear Where? in the headline. Oh, is that for PC? Yeah. We can't put lingerie in right. the headline. So people get the wrong idea. Yeah, it's uh, that it comes in a rose color or a black color, and that's it. Um, and it says though, oh, it says if you can't be in the Manhattan area to have it shipped for any orders over fifty dollars, they'll still send it to you. Oh, generous! That's very nice of you. Yeah, very nice of you. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, to just put in their underwear. Yeah. I, I, really? Yeah. Would you get me? I got you some cotton white granny panties. Yeah. And, you know what? What do you What do you want? I got your fruit of the loom. And by the way, just that's not something. For guys, you can buy that stuff because even if you're off on the size, most times we can wear it anyway. Yeah. You know, but you, I would never want to guess my wife's size for anything because right. when I guess wrong, yeah, I'm in trouble. Oh, yeah. I look like an absolute <clears throat> pervert around Christmas time because I'm going through stuff like, <laughs> well, this is this number and this says this number. Yeah. Well, I don't know what this <laughs> Right. I'm just going to buy shoes. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to buy shoes. That's so awesome. For myself. <laughs> I got you these Jordans. Merry Christmas. We got boots. Why'd you get a size 12 Jordans? You're not going to wear those? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, it was all sales final. So, <laughs> sorry. All sales final. <laughs> yeah. No exchanges, um, no returns. My, my my son would be like, don't crease those. You know, that'd be the first thing. <laughs> don't crease those shoes, Dad. Don't crease. You, you, you going to finish that pen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, number seven, celebrate celebrate anti-Valentine's Day. Are you shitting me? I'm sorry. Mm. C- celebrate wow. anti-Valentine's Day by getting married. How's that anti-Valentine's Day at the Denver Library? 
Well, <laughs> wow. So, does anyone have any objections to that? Speak now, forever hold your peace. I object. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Yes. Shh. You kind of whisper. I object. I uh, <laughs> I see your loophole. <laughs> He couldn't object. He's by the card catalog. Yeah. He can only say it this loud. You can't hear him. You can't hear him. But it says on February 13th, they were seeking five engaged couples to get married in a ceremony on its grounds. Where is the most unromantic place you can get married? <laughs> the Denver Library. If you did that, your wife would be also checking out a bunch of murder mystery books. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like the uh the what is the 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 uh idiot's guide <laughs> to murder you know uh, my first job was in a library if i ever saw anyone getting married in there yeah no <laughs> i like where you went though where you bring shh yeah shh. did anyone object i uh, shh yeah shh. sir this is a wendy's <laughs> yeah this is a wendy's <laughs> <laughs> In Minnesota. <laughs> sure it's not yeah, and Max like, damn it. <laughs> they all look the same. I couldn't tell. He just walks up. I'll have this sushi. <laughs> this is a win. All right. I'm going to need you to play ball here. All right. <laughs> that woman over there in the corner booth is expecting sushi. What can we do? <laughs> look, just give me the raw stuff then. Okay. <laughs> you got like a raw burger. Yeah. What is this? Sushi. Uh, this is ground beef sashimi. <laughs> sashimi. <laughs> and you're probably going to want to know what a toilet later. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, you know, E. coli, e. coli I mean, is the gift that keeps giving. Wendy's is fresh, never frozen. <laughs> right. Um, number eight, share a magical dinner at Hogwarts Great Hall. Is that from? Uh, Harry Potter. Yeah, okay. So apparently is they that a Universal uh, their, uh Warner Brothers Studios tour London again is hosting a Valentine's dinner. Oh, this has to be expensive. <laughs> I ever tell you this story? This is terrible. It was because about my youngest. We went to Warner Brothers Studio in L.A. Yeah, and it was cool. That's where I. That's where I walked in the you know Hazard County. Right. Yeah. Dude, yeah. 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 I brought that up here. But there's a picture of nobody really likes a bragger. I know. That. Yeah. I'm gonna brag though now. There was a there's a photo opportunity where you can stand next to the train for Hogwarts. Okay. But it wasn't the, the train wasn't there. They're gonna digitally put that in. But they had like the light and everything, and you you could get a, like a sense of where it was, and. uh my mother-in-law, my wife, my son, and myself are all like, look like we uh, figured out. We, we understood the assignment. Right. My daughter looks like she's not even in the same planet. <laughs> How the hell did she get on top of the yeah. train? <laughs> Pointing in the wrong direction, looking surprised the wrong way. <laughs> like there's cross train traffic coming. <laughs> I felt so bad because it was like, it was essentially, we paid $800 for this photo for her. And it's just like, oh God, I can't show this to anyone. <laughs> Why do you feel like, why do I feel like you're stopping something yeah. tragic from happening? <laughs> She's the only one that cares. She's the only one. Like, we yeah, like we're all turned in like an awe at this like a massive like, you know, right. smoke's coming like the steam's going out of everything. Yeah. And she, she's like, "Ooh, look, squirrel." And she's she's looking like, "When the hell they put a Wendy's in Manuka?" <laughs> so, hey, so the price for this? $715 per couple. Oh, well, I was per person would be worse, but yeah. yeah. Number nine, I can get behind. This is the last one. Number nine, woo your Valentine with waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, and it's talking about uh, <clears throat> uh, Waffle House. I, I assumed. 150 locations across the South and Midwest. Uh, um, none of them up here. Uh, in addition House. to a special menu item, T-bone steak. You're going to get your T-bone steak at the Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're behind him. <laughs> You think I should get that in the waffles? What do you think? You think think it's okay? You think it's okay if I get two? My luck, I'd be like, can you smother that? And they'd actually put gravy on it instead of the onions. The last time I went to Waffle House, uh, it was late at night. I had a fight in the morning. So they like, what do you want to drink? And I said, well, I'd want decaf coffee. And they're like, oh, we're going to have to brew a whole pot. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to make you work. Yeah. I'll just take, I'll just risk it with the regular stuff. And a double waffle. I don't need a menu. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, my wife is returning the rental car. I figure I have 40 minutes. Let's get this done. Right, yeah. I want to be back upstairs and pretend this never happened. <laughs> you, don't, you don't understand. This is on the sly. Yeah. This is on the sly. Because I'm still going to eat the continental yeah. breakfast, okay? Right. You don't understand. <laughs> I do not need any waffle evidence. I need to go upstairs. I need to brush my teeth. I need syrup out of there. Let's go. You don't have a time clock. I'm chasing the... Well, if you went on Valentine's Day, you smell like T-bone steak, yeah. so you'd be good. Yeah. Well, you know you didn't go to the Waffle House because yeah. you smell like T-bone steak. 
<laughs> you smell like T-bone steak and regret. Did you go to the Waffle House? <laughs> Did you wait a minute? <laughs> hey Mac, do you have a story about taking something to a Waffle House? Oh, I was gonna go to a Waffle House, ahead. but there aren't any. <laughs> 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 I should tell that next time we're in a car. Where are you going to? Where are you going? Waffle House. <laughs> Waffle House. There's 150 locations across the South and the Midwest. <laughs> so um, that's not a that's not a bad list, but unless you're in London. Yeah, unless you're uh, in London. Yeah, you Detroit. really like Detroit, <laughs> right? Uh, man, Boondoggle, Oklahoma. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. So if you're in London, it seems like there's a lot of stuff yeah. to do for Valentine's Day. And if you're in London listening to us on Valentine's Day, you, you get, get to the bottom of the article and the source is the London Times. Yeah, right. Oh, all right. Yeah. The so, London Times and their off and their like offshoot, the the yeah. Oklahoma Star. Yeah. <laughs> the Oklahoma Star. That's why we want you to come to Oklahoma. Um, so we paid are, $8 million to get our one thing in the list of the old London Times. <laughs> now, if you're if you're anti-Valentine's Day, this is a list of unique Valentine's Day traditions from other countries okay. that are not what we do. Wait, um, other countries celebrate this made-up <laughs> yeah. garbage of a Well, holiday? on this date in other countries, uh, in Slovenia, uh, where it's the day to resume work in the fields. That's what <laughs> Valentine's Day is. The what am I, a farmer day? <laughs> 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 Often it's the first first day of the year when the work starts in the vineyards and in the fields. Um, it brings keys to all the roots. Uh, nature begins to awaken, and a strongly held tradition that the birds of the fields propose to their loved ones. Oh, so the birds are getting it out. Yeah, so why are we going to Detroit? <clears throat> right. We can go here. Slovenia, while you're there, yeah. pick up a plow. Yeah. <laughs> and pick up a plow. Um, Everybody get your field glasses and your shovels. <laughs> We're getting dinner and a show. So here's the deal. We're going on a hay rack ride, but we're kind of like migrant workers. Okay, so so do you guys ever pick your own blueberries back home? <laughs> it's kind of like that, except we're in the early stage. <laughs> First off, I don't think that I'm down on my travel agent going. You got anything in Slovenia? <laughs> I mean, just you know, just just kind of. I'm going to be honest with you right now. As a 45 year old man, I can't tell you where that is on a map. <laughs> what uh, what kind of packages you got that include a hay rack ride and shovels? <laughs> And only one round trip ticket. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when we book the flights, yeah. we need two out. Two out. Two out, one in. Two out, one me. in. Two out, me. one in. Follow you got me? me? You got me? Two out, one in. You got it's it? Like all those got people it? that disappear on cruise ships. <laughs> how they do that when they're... So the itinerary said... Now, how come... Why come you packed for two weeks yeah. and told me to just bring a backpack? <laughs> Put something heavy in it. <laughs> the snorkeling people called, and they said on day two, there's only a reservation for one. So should I be nervous? <laughs> well, I know you didn't want to snorkel. You ain't into that yeah, stuff. You, ain't, you, you said ain't, you don't want to snorkel. You ain't into that. <laughs> you didn't want to get in the water. Remember? You said you didn't want to breathe in the water. We'll take care of that. <laughs> I don't want you to do two things at once. You shouldn't be in the water and have to breathe. <laughs> I figure you'd be eating the whole time. You got to wait an hour. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Big pool. It's a big pool. <laughs> big. Really big. Really big pool. So just to so be clear, two out. <laughs> One in. One in. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they give you the package. That'd be 7000 for everything. Okay, hold on. What if we cut out one <laughs> airfare back? <laughs> what, what if? <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a theory. It's a hypothesis. Okay. I you know two things. What what if we cut out one of our back and how good is your memory? Because <laughs> I'm going to need you to forget a lot of stuff. Right. right. You ever see Men in Black? You got one of them sticks. Okay. I want you to look at this. Is that a Jolly Rancher stick? <laughs> kind of. Sir, that's a dumb dumb. <laughs> no, the thing I'm waving, the thing in front of me. <laughs> how dare you speak about wife like that? <laughs> so, so Slovenia, if you're up for it, that's where we want to go. Previously. Uh, number two is Japan, where women give chocolates to men. All That's right. It's just kind of like in reverse order of yeah. what really happens here. Um, tradition holds that women give men a gift of chocolate. However, the type of chocolate given depends on greatly on the nature of the relationship. Oh. So you'd get that white chalky chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> this is expired, right? This is made by Wrigley's? Is this baking powder? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> well, we've been saving it from the early days yeah. <laughs> that's chewing gum out of my baseball cards so i'd open the packs you get that gross 90 percent dark <laughs> chocolate cocoa you can't even eat this so they call it giri choco is bought for bosses colleagues and close male friends giri means obligation so here's my obligation box right. of chocolate that i need to buy you by contrast hanmei choco is presented to boyfriends lovers or husbands 
or all three if you have to buy three. So handmade choco. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, Mac, what did you get when you get to Japan? Did you get the obligation or the, the hand choke? The what? <laughs> <laughs> He got Wendy's. Wait, what? He got Wendy's. <laughs> hey, Sir, this off, is a Wendy's. First off, <laughs> when you're in Japan, is it really Joliet? <laughs> it starts with a J. <laughs> Are we in Japan right now? I didn't know they had that White Castle here in Japan. <laughs> are, we, are we in Japan right now? I want to know what your, what your interpretation of this is. <laughs> we were trying to get to Jakarta. <laughs> we ended up in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I did not hear that whole story. Hey, what did you ask me? <laughs> yeah, you should just learn to be quiet. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mike. Mike. Hey, hey, Matt, can you set your mic to music level? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, number three. <laughs> Wales. Where. Saint- wait, wait. Are snails involved? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. Let me read. Where St. Dwywin is the lover's saint and the spoon is the symbol of love. Well, hey, spooning is a symbol of love. So I guess I guess that's correct. Um, it's known as Welsh Valentine's Day. Um, it commemorates the Saint Walsh, yeah, yeah, um, whose ancient and tragic love story has inspired the Welsh people for generations to exchange cards and gifts and to express their deepest feelings for one another. How is this anti-Valentine's Day? Well, this isn't... Ant, this is it's not just anti. Not, it's just it's just different how, day. Yeah, different. Okay. It's different from giving somebody here's a box of chocolates and some flowers. Now shut up. That's different. Um, <laughs> here's some cards and letters. Now shut up. <laughs> yeah. Um, the legend states that Dwin, Dwinwin or whatever it is fell in love with a young prince named Mayron. Uh, Mayron reciprocated her feelings, but for an undetermined reason, they could not be together. Oh, three hypotheses. Look, they're using our word uh, hypotheses. Um, are that, um, oh, I need to pre-read these. So there was a rape involved. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, all yeah. right. Yeah. And then she was supposed to be celibate till after marriage and her father forbid the marriage. So now this is what they're celebrating. And so an angel answers her prayers by bringing her a potion that erases her love for me. Mar- oh, okay. Okay. So she doesn't like the guy no more. They did this. Um, and she's freed from her icy tomb and they give each other candy. Really? That, that This is it? Wow. This sounds awful. Yeah, so number four. Great Britain. <laughs> Moving along. Great Britain, where there are odd superstitions. Uh, I think I've heard this before. Great Britain on Valentine's Day Eve. So on, on the eve, women used to pin four bay leaves to the corners of their pillow and eat eggs with salt, replacing the removed yolks. They believe they would then dream of their future husbands. Also, women used to write down their lovers' names on paper and put them on clay balls, just like, oh. which they would drop in the water. They believed that whichever paper came up first, that man would be their future husband. While a majority of the traditions have now become folklore, a few continue to be practiced. So like mash books? Yeah. <laughs> Did we used to put this on clay balls? Yeah. Uh, just me... Me, three subjects will work. Well, I'll be honest with you. If, you. if you drop the bay leaves into water, you're halfway to a good sauce. So maybe <laughs> maybe what you want to do is get them off the pillow, okay? <laughs> By the way, if you're eating eggs, I think that's going to be a rough first date. <laughs> you smell sulfur? I love you. I love you. I just want to let you know. This is all out of love. <laughs> hey, look, your ball floated to the top before that piece of paper that said Bill. Just feel lucky that I ate those eggs, you know? <laughs> Bill would have loved these eggs. Yeah. <laughs> do you understand me? <laughs> Bill is at home crying over these eggs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was two really crappy ones in a row. Uh, hopefully South Korea is better. Number five, where people mourn the lo- mourn being single. Oh, this sounds like it could be good. In South Korea, they give uh, chocolate to men on February 14th, and the men give non-chocolate candy to women on March 14th. They wait a month? Well, that's why they're single. <laughs> Look, I was going to call. Yeah. I got busy. I got busy. I got busy. Stuff happened. I was eating chocolates for like I a month. Me- I meant to go to South Korea, ended up in North Korea. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Some mistake. The internet got cut off. They, Weird. They don't even have a Wendy's up there. <laughs> <laughs> so that means if you get chocolate on, on February 14th, you're like, oh, damn. I get it. I'm single. I know. Yeah. You don't need to tell me. Yeah. Hey, you know what's going to keep you being single? Getting fatter on this chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, tons of fun. You can eat this whole box. No one's going to be upset but you, okay? (laughs) 
Koreans they should have sent me Noom. <laughs> so Koreans also separate Peppera Day <clears throat> on November 11th when young couples give each other Peppero cookies. Uh, the date is 11 11. Is that like it's in pepperoni? Yeah. <laughs> San Francisco treat. Um, <laughs> the date is 11 11. It's intended to resemble the long shape of the cookie. So apparently they look like Long John's or something. Uh, the 14th of every month marks a love related day in Korea, although most of them are obscure. From January to December, uh, what, oh, they have Candle Day, Valentine's Day. They have all kinds of, they have Hug Day. Well, these days seem a little less special. Hey, you know what? Let's just put it on one day. Yeah. <laughs> Is today the day we hug? No, nope, not hug well, day. Well, first off, is it you, cookie day? Not cookie day. If you have wine day, movie day, and hug day all on the same day, it's a pretty good, a good day. day. That's what I'm saying. Put pretty them all day. together. Yeah, let's 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 do that. Let's lead into that. Number six, Finland. <laughs> 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 Glad we decided to do Valentine's Day. Huh? Um, oh, they celebrate friendship and fr- instead of love. In Finland, Valentine's Day is called. Oh, I can't say that. Yes, <laughs> <or not. clears throat> I, bet, I bet Matt can't drive there. Yeah. <laughs> Manuka, <laughs> which means Friends Day, <laughs> which is Finland for Friends Day. <laughs> Unlike many other countries where Valentine's Day is mainly the day of romance, in Finland it is also the day when close friends send cards and gifts to each. Oh, so it's Friends with Benefits Day. Hey, you're you're a single loser just like me. Well, what day is that? Because if I get anything from you, <laughs> I'm booking a cruise two out one in. Yeah, two out one in. <laughs> Good news, I'm gonna get a little discount. <laughs> Good news is this ship's gonna float higher on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> Because we're dropping something off to side. <laughs> we're running lean. We 86 the fat guy. We're running yeah. lean. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey, um, I'm going to need you to call the police. Why? We're like six to seven feet higher <laughs> on the return trip. Uh, what's the problem? This is a cruise ship. Yeah, this is a cruise. Do you understand? Yeah. 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 We have lost some people. Yeah. We can <laughs> Look at the watermark. Now look at this mark. <laughs> Now look at this, Mark. I haven't seen this part of the ship. I could just see you since it went in the ocean. I could just see you hanging over this side with a toothbrush, scrubbing, <laughs> scrubbing all the stuff off, all the barnacles. What's that guy doing? I know he's covering up something. I don't Does know. He be fishing for whales. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I need to get a big one up on his boat quick. <laughs> they got a ruler. They got a GI Joe guy in the dock. They're gonna measure it. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny though. It's like you send me over, and instead of me like clearing everything, I fall through a lifeboat. So then, when the boat does sink, <laughs> you'll put the lifeboat in the water, and that sinks too. <laughs> or that you have to get in there, right. and I'm in the boat. You know what I mean? They're like, why didn't you just come back up? That's a long climb, man. <laughs> just- Throw out some cake. <laughs> just yelling. What's at the buffet tonight? <laughs> I don't like that. See, this is what's odd. After today, I only have the buffet for one. I'm not supposed to yeah. share food. Yeah. So this is very, this puts me in a bad position. Yeah, I can't use it. Yeah. We only paid for one meal yeah, plan, man. I only get one plate. I can't. Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah. We only get one plate and I need it. So <laughs> that'd be like when we go to Disney, and Nicole calls the rental car company and goes, okay, I'm going to need to be a driver on there too for on the way home. <laughs> and, and I'm like, the dining plan seems a lot cheaper this year. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a small world <laughs> and the boats are all going over a bump. <laughs> I notice that we have park passes for all of us for magic kingdom, but none of the other parks. <laughs> I, my fast passes only show it's small world three times <laughs> in the same day. <laughs> and then I don't have anything for Tuesday. So what do we, what am I doing? You know? uh, ma'am, I don't mean to disillusion you. It's also a small river. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to drown in it. But I do. And the boat just keep poof and just going over me. Poof. You just see your hip deep. Stay down. Just holding you under. He would have got up sooner, but his pockets were full of the chains from the bottom and it weighted him back down. It's on him. He's an idiot. Yeah. He deserved it. We don't let him around any fountains for the same reason. We know. We know. If there's a fountain in cargo shorts, he's a drowning. He he's a drowning hazard. <laughs> we were so happy when the malls started shutting down. <laughs> we almost lost him in every mall in this country. You know, a pocket full of pennies weighs a lot more than you think. Just saying. <laughs> Sir, I don't think it was just the pennies. <laughs> Why are you whispering he's dead? No, he can't hear you anymore. No one cares. We're in a library and people are getting married. <laughs> 
that's a callback for the comedy world. <laughs> so since today's Valentine's Day, and you're still listening, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, good luck. That's our gift. That's your gift to us. Let me give you uh, a list of days that come before and lead up to February 14th that if you don't like Valentine's Day, put these on your calendar for next year. And we may even share some of these uh, on social media too. Um, but February 1st is is uh, full of national days ofs and includes National Freedom Day. Uh National Get Up Day. America! National Baked Alaska Day, which I hear you can get in Manuka. That's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> National Serpent Day and National Texas Day. That's crazy. And also, if it's the first Friday of February, uh, it's National Wear Red Day and Bubblegum Day. I came That's here, all February 1st. I came here to wear red and chew bubblegum. <laughs> I'm all, all out, out of bubblegum. Bubble gum. <laughs> It must be the first Friday in February. So Probably in Detroit. <laughs> in Detroit. The girl's like, you got gum? You got any gum? I can't go to the Detroit Zoo on the first Friday because of the bulls. So on February 2nd, we all know that's, that's Groundhog Day. Okay? But it's also nationally National Heavenly Hash Day. Do we know what that is? Heavenly Hash? Yeah. They get you high. Is that what it is? No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, is this something you should have a gravy and breakfast? This is, <laughs> yeah. It sounds good to me. Yeah, because I kind of want some now, to be honest with you. <laughs> we, this is a longer episode. I'm, I bet it is because the next one says National Tater Tot Day. So I bet you I bet you they're... Oh, is this some weird place where we don't want to call them tater tots anymore? We call them Heavenly Hash. <laughs> we think it's derogatory toward the tots. <laughs> we see him. He's eating so many, he's going to see God soon. We know. It's Heavenly Hash. <laughs> How many tater tots is he eating? He's going to see Jesus. February 3rd is very uh, dark. It's uh, the day the music died day. National day the music died day. Hey, you went there. You saw Harry Carey. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that was so awesome. Those people's faces. They were so <laughs> pissed so with angry me. With you. They, were, they hated me For so much. Two times. First day. <laughs> First day we carry thing, and then you're like, they're like, well, aren't you going to go see the crash site? No, that's in the field. I don't want to walk out. These in your shoes. Well, I, my exact words were, is it still there? Right. <laughs> and they go, no. I go, there's nothing to see. Not, nothing to see, right. <laughs> you are correct. Oh, man. Those guys are like, them boys dumb. <laughs> um, February 3rd, I also like National Carrot Cake Day. Oh, I like carrot cake. Okay. All right. I'm you with know, you now. Like, yeah, that's not dark. I, I, I guess we gave up a... Plane full of music stars, yeah. but we get carrot cake. Hello, baby. <laughs> I'd like to order a carrot cake. <laughs> did you just use the Big Bopper's death as a carrot cake lead-in <laughs> joke? I did. With pride. Too soon? Yeah. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> That'll um, be the day. The day <laughs> I eat cake. <laughs> it's also... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> carrot cake. Oh, I thought. La, 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 carrot cake. <laughs> you just turned Donna and La Pamba both into. Yeah, we're all. Yeah, we did. We're all. We did. We covered them all. <laughs> it's also National Missing Persons Day. <laughs> oh, well, Nicole should be worried. Now. <laughs> it's National Check Under Damon's Pool Day. Yeah. It's National We Dig It Up Day. <laughs> We're going to do some digging. It's National Call Julie Day. <laughs> Why is this yard staked out? We know well, there's something coming. That's, that's too, actually, that's going to be the second, because they have to have a time to get the guy out to mark. Yeah. <laughs> February 4th is uh, National Football Hangover Day, because normally you uh, have the Super Bowl, Bowl? that early. Yeah. Uh, but excuse now, me, the uh, big game. Right. So now, now they're, and they're trying to move that to a Saturday now, because people are like, oh, I got to go to work. Uh, to be fair, it's the only game. Why not just do yeah, it? Yeah, they, they probably could. They probably could. Um, let's see here. Wow. Cause that, that the day after the big game is usually the most called off. Hey, just so you know, I'm busy every, every February 5th is national shower with a friend day. <laughs> um, you know what today is Damon? <laughs> hey Mac, guess what? <laughs> it's February 5th. <laughs> You do not have to partake or celebrate in this holiday though, because let's be honest, it's weird. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not your friend. Uh, National Weather Persons Day <laughs> and World Nutella Day. <laughs> if Al Roker comes through that door with Nutella, 
I am leaving this building. So it's national shower with your friend with Nutella. Yeah, well, after the Nutella, you're going to have to shower that off. (laughs) It's very sticky, sir. It's Nutella. We found the problem. Except who's washing it off. There's a forecast of showers in your your future. Uh, February 7th, uh, National Periodic Table Day. Wow. No, honestly, if you don't want to buy chocolate for people, periodic table day. Or some uranium. (laughs) (laughs) It's sugar free. Well, you take all the uh, you take all the letters and spell out words with them. You know what I mean? (laughs) So you be you be good. You be good with that. Um, let's see here. It's also National Send a Card to a Friend Day. So you shower with them like a right. couple days before. You, then you send them. You're a, like, uh, mm, hey, mm, we gotta mm, talk. I'm real sorry about what happened yeah. in that shower. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's some miscommunication. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't even think to bring trunks. Yeah. This this is gonna be odd. Yeah. But that soap on a yo-yo was a Christmas yeah. gift. I'm yeah. I'm very sorry. <laughs> uh, I'd never seen one look like that. <laughs> I apologize for my reaction. Yeah. Ice. Trust me, I played with G.I. Joe guys all the time when I was growing up. That, that part never... about seeing a doctor was not an exaggeration. <laughs> right. You still might want to get that looked at. <laughs> yeah. you still... Do yourself a favor. Yeah. I think that's changing color. Get a look at that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. National Fettuccine Alfredo Day. If there's no garlic bread, what's the point? <laughs> it's the day after. <laughs> Damn it. So close. <laughs> February 8th is National Boy Scouts Boy Scouts Day, National Kite Flying Day, and National Iowa Day. So Texas gets January 1st. Iowa gets the 8th. Well, yeah, because Texas is one of the one the, the Freedom Day. They wanted to be on the same. Which one's Freedom Day? The first. <laughs> Texas! America! Where would you fly a kite? Iowa. We'll take the day with yeah. the kite flying then. We'll do that. Well, I should have rented a car this week. Where are you going? <laughs> uh, February 8th is this week. Do you not know where <laughs> yeah. I'm going? Why? It's National Iowa Day. It's Iowa Day. <laughs> oh my God, idiot! Let's get with the times. Wait, don't I, well, tell me you're going to buy right, somebody sir, chocolate, sir. But you're you're renting on the seventh. I got to get a beach spot property. <laughs> like if I show up on the eighth, all the beach pro- places are going to be gone. <laughs> I got to shovel the snow off the sand so I can enjoy <laughs> the beach. <laughs> um, the ninth uh, is National Pizza Day. I can get behind that, and it's National Toothache Day. National Bagel Day. Whoa. This is... Hey, the 10th? <laughs> okay, there's got to be a car one, but the 10th is National Home Warranty Day. So get ready, everybody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we feel like yeah. the warranty's expired on your home, right. and we're going to need to talk to you about that. <laughs> we were trying to reach you about your home warranty. <laughs> Turns out we knew exactly where you were. <laughs> That's they how they not. get you with the car. Like the car, you can move all over the place. Yeah. Like, hey, uh, warranty's up. <laughs> how do you know? Oh, it's today. <laughs> They're all today. You just you look at all your neighbors. Just have people like add their suits. Yeah. <laughs> There's just buses lined up. Like, oh man, is it February 10th? Oh, that sneaks up on me every day, every year. <laughs> you know, you know the great thing though is it's also National Cream Cheese Brownie Day. <laughs> can I offer you a brownie? Yeah. <laughs> Well, we is discussed. that cream cheese? Sure. <laughs> well, is that actually a brownie? Also, sure. Sure. <laughs> Stew is. What'd you say? This tastes like soap covered in Nutella. <laughs> this is not good at all. I had some leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> Should have been with me on the fifth. This it was shop- awesome. The shopping list for this month is bonkers. <laughs> it's B A N A N A S. So February 11th, which is my mom's birthday. National. Or, no. Sorry, oh. that's my dad's birthday. My mom's birthday is the 12th. <clears throat> um, National Make a Friend Day and National Don't Cry Over Spilled Milk Day. Do they like high five at midnight? Your parents? <laughs> yeah. You're up. We did it. <laughs> now it's cake for you. <laughs> it's National White Shirt Day. <laughs> oh, it's Wife Beater Wednesday. Okay, gotcha. All right. Gotcha. Okay, I fall, I fall on a Wednesday this year. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Meanwhile, the people wearing V-necks are like, can we just get our own <laughs> our own day? Yeah. Like, why do we got to share with these guys? Yeah, what, what are we doing? Son of a I'm gun. not like them. February 12th, my mom's birthday. National Becky <clears throat> Day. National Plum Pudding Day. That's the only thing on that day is plum pudding. Stuck in his thumb, pulled out a plum. <laughs> Said, happy birthday, Becky. February 13th <laughs> is break up with your carrier day. What the hell does that mean? Hey, uh, AT&T? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get you a Valentine's Day present. So guess what? We done. 
Hey, we're AT&T, done. Give me Lily on the phone. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you're calling State Farm. Can I talk to Jake? Yeah. We're done. Hey, uh, I'm out. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> and it's National Cheddar Day. Ooh, I like that. So, and then, of course, 14. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, Verizon, this cheese is just for me. <laughs> and Plus, course, you don't want to be in the room after cheese. Right. Or eggs. <laughs> you have the eggs. <laughs> I salted them extra. Bill is still crying over those <laughs> eggs, sir. He's weeping. He's so in love. No, it, it's rancid in here. It is rancid. <laughs> Those are far yeah. from tears of joy. Yeah. Yeah. It smells like somebody blew how up many, a sulfur plant. How many eggs did you eat? <laughs> oh, my God. You must really love me. Thank you. I love you back so much. I've never seen a melted eyeball. Yeah. And now I never will. <laughs> By the way, you're going to get some new underwear for me for, for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm not in Manhattan, though. we got to wait for the FedEx yeah. guy. Where can they find us, Ted? And it's not in Manhattan either. <laughs> they can find us at thatchecksout.net. They can find us at all the socials at thatchecksout. WDT stands for With Damon and Ted. Do not forget our sponsor this week, Be Natural by Cat. All natural lotion bars and lip balms made by hand with love you can find that be natural by cat.com that's cat with a k should have mentioned that at the beginning way to go ted way to read it cold <laughs> be natural dot be natural by cat.com cat with a k 10 percent of all the proceeds go towards bee conservation happy valentine's day everybody and get that cake <laughs> that checks out <laughs> that does check out off the rails <laughs> well, can you guys hear the music we can hear this music. That's yeah. why we started the yeah. ending, Mac. Oh, we should say too that if you want, if you want to have sushi and manuka with Mac, he'll be there around seven. <laughs> Maybe on the fifteenth. <15th>. <laughs>